Man, raining in ATL, man. Man, have you noticed, like the the the, the ecosystem in 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 Africa? It's it's startup, 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 and it stays startup for years, man. You have companies that stay in a startup stage. Why are they not graduated, or at least some of them are not graduated to the next level? And that's the topic I want to talk about because, again, ecosystem is important, man. You know, it's like growing. It's it's like agriculture, man. You can't just throw the seed and and expect that everything to grow. I don't care how rich the soil is. You know, you have to water it. You have to make sure everything is is great. You have to make sure that there is no parasite around it. Um, there is no bad, you know, what they call bad grass or something. You you have to nurture um, your field. And same thing about entrepreneurship. You know, so it's going to be a very very interesting topic. So what's happening is um, we build this ecosystem, right? We build this ecosystem uh, for startup. And the whole ecosystem in Africa about startup, accelerator programs, mentorship, it's always for the startup level. You know, uh, I've yet to see any organization that work on the next step or, or bring companies to get to the next step. For example, you know, you're a startup, right? You're building your product, you're testing, your business case, etc. But a company that's trying to merge or, or connect you with potential uh, customers, if it's a B2B, B2C, uh, companies that want to try to help you raise capital, companies that are trying to help you exit uh, or, or, or get a buyer, all those are layers to the journey of entrepreneurship that do not exist in Africa, it just doesn't. Uh, and what you see is, you, same thing, you see startups ecosystem and people stay on a startup stage forever, forever. It doesn't change, it doesn't move, it doesn't expand, it doesn't, you know, uh, um, they don't evolve, they don't, they don't expand to new countries and they want to, they, 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 they don't grow in revenue, they stuck in, in their marketplace. And it's, 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 it's a big issue. It's a big issue because we're just developing one layer to the ecosystem. And I'll give you an example. It's a perfect example because they use it all the time with, with other companies outside the, the, the continent. When a company comes to Rwanda, I see it all the time from Europe. The embassy is supporting them. Uh, um, if they have a fund, or if they have a development fund, they work, they try to work together. So you have all this entity connected to the actual company to help them get to the next level. And we don't have that. You know, if I personally go to another country, Nigeria and all those things trying to set up, there won't be an embassy uh, uh, attaché that here to really promote and help and media. And we have this problem to connect this ecosystem. And it's not making any better, you know, and it's not just a running problem, it's an African problem. So if we're gonna graduate companies from a startup level to an SME, to a medium size, and, and some of them to a large size, we have to connect the dot, number one, and we have to build this eco ecosystem that allow companies to do so, you know, or it's just not gonna happen. And that's why we have this, you know, startup mindset. We just got stuck because we like, okay, you know, startup sounds sexy, it sounds new. It's like dating, I think. You know, people get excited. They're about to start something, you know, brand new, but they, they get stuck in their mind, mindset and they don't grow. And a lot of them fail because of that. They're unable to grow and, and move to the next level. And I'm going to end with this, you know, if we don't find a way to graduate some companies, because not all companies are going to be a, a medium size or a big size. That's a fact, you know. So, but if we don't graduate companies, to, to different layers, those who want to grow and all those things. And if we don't connect the dots and if we don't build the ecosystem that allow that, what's going to happen is we're just going to be a startup uh, uh, ecosystem type of company 
for African company, we're just not going to be able to move any forward. And it's just, you know, it's just going to kill the game. And I'm talking about the entrepreneurship game. So I want to give some pointers of what's missing on the ecosystem, right? Man, enjoying this uh, first morning in, in, in Nassau, Bahamas. So what's missing on the ecosystem is number one is expansion. There is no vehicle or tools for, for companies to expand. What do I mean by that? Well, very simple. What, what happened is when you expand, you need a vehicle like a lot of companies do. You know, they use their, their, their embassies or they use their organization that are already existing in the country that you want to expand to, uh, to expand in those countries, right? Um, so what, what happened is it facilitate, minimize your risk of failure. It facilitate the, the, uh, the process and it help connect the dot much quicker. That's what we're missing first for companies. Second thing is exit strategy. Uh, merge and acquisition. M&A uh, does not exist for startups or, or small companies. I um, shouldn't say does not exist, but so I talked to like 13 M&A company, company that deal with merge and acquisition, and they all say the same thing. It's very expensive for, for, for to do the due diligence for companies that want to do merge and acquisition in Africa compared to the States and Europe. So they don't deal with startups because they just don't have the money. You know, why do you think in, in America, um, you can, companies sell all the time, small companies, startup, even ideas, because the due diligence is much, it's, it's digitized much quicker. If you want to pull the tax report of a company or someone, it's, it's done online, it's very quick, it's, it's cheaper. In Africa, unfortunately, we have a lack of trust we don't trust the paperwork. You have to send people on the ground. So it was kind of very interesting to learn about the process and the risk um, and the due diligence that goes uh, to in Africa. So that that's something that kind of really uh, surprised me, man. Um, because it's and that's a different topic, but there's a huge, huge opportunity for merge and acquisition for startup, man. And and, and again, technology is the future technology is the future you know uh and the last thing i would say um as far as what graduating is 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 funding you know from c to series a b c or whatever again th that ecosystem still does not exist in africa you have to go overseas to do those series a yes we're trying to build you see some going on but unfortunately unfortunately those funding still goes um, to foreign companies that have those structures. So they have a structure outside. And I keep talking about the same thing, man. Guys, uh, they have structure outside the continent um, that create, you know, uh, and I put this in, in quotation, uh, trust for investors because the company is registered in London or, or in the States or I don't know where. So, you know, they feel, they feel that it's better trust going on in those countries and they're able to raise that kind of funding out there uh, I, i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna add because I, I read an article yesterday about uh you know why why are billionaires and millionaires are not investing in the startup ecosystem uh i think that's also a, a big big mistake because in the articles as you know as i suspect and i always knew it's not a lack of millionaires and billionaires we have in africa but technology yet yeah, they, they tend to invest in traditional business you see technology hasn't caught up in africa or where they see that there's an opportunity to make some good money and i think that's what needs to change also so if we can build that ecosystem i think africa will be in good shape man that'll be really interesting to see how the next five years look like